Jesus Christ, to yes. my pastor in his absence, to the pulpit, to my progressive church choir family, to all of you here this morning. I am honored to stand before you this morning. Been a long ways coming, come on, come on. but I feel no waste time. Right. And I don't believe that my God brought me this far. He didn't bring me this far to lead me, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes. This poem is entitled, Is This What I'm Fighting For? Amen. One day, while visiting a certain city, <laughs> this is what I saw. A Negro soldier with a broken arm. He had been wounded in the war. Come on. The wind was blowing from the north and there was a drizzling rain. But he was inquiring of an eating place. He even had his arms in a sling. There was a marvelous hotel on the corner with flashing signs and glaring lights, but not a crumb to sell a Negro soldier. Mm -hmm. hmm. The brave hero walked inside and said, may I warm my feet? Please give me something to ease my pain and sell me some food to eat. Come on. But the proprietor looked at him with racial hatred in his face and said, I'll give you a sandwich. But you have to eat outside. Negroes are not even allowed to enter here. Here you cannot warm your feet, but you'll find a colored eating place for Negroes about five blocks down on Tin Can Road. We're fighting the Germans, right? But four German soldiers was marched inside. They were not asked to leave. They was given the best of food. And there they were allowed to warm their feet. But the hero who had been wounded in war had to go outside to eat. The Negro is fighting for democracy on land, sea, and in the air. And if we treat him unfairly, we'll treat him unjustice. And when he turns to his homeland and country, he's beaten with the color of power. And then he's asking himself the question, is this what I'm fighting for? And today, my people, I ask you today, what are you fighting for? Right. Are you fighting for freedom? Are you fighting for either race? Are you fighting for justice for our children? Hallelujah. We must continue to fight. We must continue to march on. We must continue to stand for what is right. And one day, my God will say, well done, my good and faithful children. Hallelujah! You have been faithful over a few things. May God bless you today and may God keep you.